I watched my parents struggle to raise me and my three sisters. I saw my dad get repeatedly laid off as we moved, uh, uh, moved from Texas to Michigan and back again. He worked hard to ensure that we had what we needed. He always pressured me to go back to school or find a job, but after trying for years to work in the kinds of jobs he wanted me to have, I gave up. I will never again work in retail or fast food. That was not fun. <laughs> My mom's philosophy was very different. She told me to do, to do the things that I like doing, and success will follow. That was supposed to be one sentence. <laughs> it might follow 10 miles behind you, but it will follow. Uh, this is the philosophy that I went with. It led me to trying a lot of different things and developing many different skills, uh, like writing, editing, photography, IKEA furniture assembly, she forgot that one, <laughs> <laughs> uh, cooking, and probably a bunch more that I can't think of right now. Thinking of skills must not be a skill that I have. <laughs> in the years I spent out of high school living in the real world, I've learned that the journey to find your place in the world could in fact be my place in the world. I don't need to get rich or famous. All that really matters is that I complete my giant space laser and write my name on the moon. Space laser? <laughs> yes. Then I use the, the time I have in life to learn as much as I can to satisfy my brain's craving for knowledge. Have you ever thought about what you might wish for if you found a magic lamp with a genie inside? The Robin Williams kind, of course, not the kind that find ways to twist your wishes. When you tell the genie what you want or what you need, that is self-advocacy, for example of it. Of course, it goes much deeper than that, and self-advocacy is not just a fantasy. It's an important part of the way we communicate with dogs. And sometimes with the public when we have to. When you're a child, the adults in your life dedicate their lives to providing you with what you need. They are your Robin Williamses. That you start off by crying to communicate, and then you learn to speak, and with words you're empowered to make more specific and abstract requests, like more cookies. Give me more cookies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, and as you mature, your needs also become more abstract. You don't just need food, sleep, and diaper changes. You guys still need diaper changes, right? No. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Complex minds have more complex needs, like affection, understanding, mental stimulation, and even struggles. Your family will always be there for you, but when you find other people to add to your life, you learn what it truly means to be part of a community. Reciprocity is the backbone of social relationships, giving back in equal proportion to what you've been given. As you are supported by the people around you, so should you offer support in whatever ways you can. Soon you'll likely have to advertise your skills to companies in hopes of persuading them to hire you. These companies are not looking for an equivalent exchange. They're not your friends. Though you should strive for a cordial relationship with people you do business with, that cordiality masks an adversarial relationship. You want as much money out of them as you can get without working harder than you have to, and they want as much work out of you as they can get without giving more money than they have. Their most important responsibility is to the people who have invested in their businesses, while yours is to yourself, your family, and your community. <laughs> the most important relationships in your life are the ones you forge using qualities that people admire on a personal level, rather than professional one. Kindness, patience, humility, and courage are just a few. Developing positive personal qualities and investing in your relationships with your skills will provide you with much more security for the future than skills alone. These qualities are the currency of self-advocacy. Just as important as having the qualities to make self-advocacy work is the wisdom to ask for what you really need. This means refraining from asking for the wrong things and not being too afraid to ask for the right things. In my work at Spectrum Fusion, I saw the products of my fellow brilliant autistics, and I know they are worth accommodating, and so are you. So as you go out into the world in search of a way, and sometimes a reason, to survive, remember that your value isn't decided by how much money you make or how much you know. It's in the way you treat other people and your willingness to share your extraordinary gifts with others. In the words of Magic Penny, love is something if you give it away, you end up having more.